left ventricle, left atrium, right ventricle, right atrium, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, aortic valve. Pulmonary valve, tricuspid valve, aorta. Hi, I'm Professor Mengvati Kran teaching human anatomy and physiology at Monterey College. Today we are studying the anatomy of the heart, and I'm going to show you the gigantic heart model. Is human heart this big? No, it's just about the size of your fist. And uh, remember that the apex of the heart here angle the walls slightly to the left. Let's go to the structures of the heart. Right auricle, left auricle, right atrium, left atrium, Right ventricle, left ventricle, aorta, aortic arch, pulmonary trunk, pulmonary arteries, pulmonary veins, Right coronary artery, marginal artery, posterior interventricular artery, left coronary artery, circumflex artery. Anterior interventricular artery. Brachiocephalic trunk. Left carotid artery. Left subclavian artery. Superior vena cava. Great cardiac vein. Middle cardiac vein, small cardiac vein, coronary sinus, inferior vena cava, right atrium, coronary sinus, tricuspid valve, caudi tendon knee. Papillary muscle, interventricular septum, left ventricle, left atrium, aortic valve, pulmonary valve. Bicuspid or mitral valve, the heart receives no nourishment from the blood because the blood passes through the chamber. So a series of blood vessels, the coronary circulation exists to supply blood to the heart itself. Let's talk about the coronary circulation, starting from the right. This is the right coronary artery, branches into the marginal artery and the posterior interventricular artery. To the left side. The left coronary artery 
divides into the circumflex artery and the anterior interventricular artery. You may ask me, how can you study for this? Because a lot of arteries of the coronary circulation. So we take a look here. This is the R, right coronary artery, M, marginal artery, P, posterior interventricular artery. I can share with you a funny story. Some students uh, shared with me before they decided to take any classes. They visited a website called Rate My Professor. So ratemyprofessors.com. So you see Rate My Professor. Rate R M My Professor. So you see the that take care of the the right side. R the right coronary artery. M marginal artery, P, go to the posterior side, posterior interventricular artery. And these arteries supply blood to the right atrium and right ventricle. Now for the left, we have the left coronary artery. Branching here, you see the circumflex artery and the anterior interventricular artery supply blood to the left atrium and left ventricle. Talking about the veins, this is the great cardiac vein. Go to the posterior side, the middle cardiac vein, the small cardiac vein, all empty into the coronary sinus. Coronary sinus. To the left side, I use the LAC, L-A-C, L-A-C. Left, coronary artery. A, anterior interventricular artery. C, circumflex artery. Now let's talk about blood flow through the heart. Take a look at the inner side of the heart. Here's the right atrium, right ventricle. So the right atrium receives blood from the inferior vena cava, superior vena cava, coronary sinus. Then from there, the blood goes through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle. Make sure that you remember the valves ensure a one-way flow of blood through the heart. Let's take an example. When the blood in here, in the right atrium, goes through the tricuspid valve, here is the papillary muscle, here is the caudi tendony. So when blood flow from here to here, when the ventricle contracts, the Papillary muscle also contract and tighten the corticadene to prevent blood from flowing upward back into the right atrium. Now let's continue. From the right ventricle, the blood goes through the pulmonary valve to the pulmonary trunk and then the pulmonary trunk divides into the pulmonary arteries the three structures here this on the left two from the right and you need to go to the posterior side to see the pulmonary arteries and then the blood go to the lungs and release carbon dioxide 
and pick up oxygen. And then the freshly oxygenated blood comes back to the heart through the left and right pulmonary veins right here. And then it goes through the left atrium. From here, blood flow through the bicuspid valve or mitral valve to the left ventricle. And then the left ventricle pumps the blood through the aortic valve, then to the aorta. And the aorta division, brachiocephalic trunk, left carotid artery, left subclavian artery to the rest of our body. The right side of the heart receives the oxygen pool blood from the tissue and then pumps the blood into the lungs to exchange gas to release carbon dioxide and pick up oxygen. So we say that the right side of the heart pump blood into the pulmonary circuit. The left side of the heart receives the freshly oxygenated blood from the lungs and distribute it to the rest of our body. So we say that the left side of the heart pumps blood into the systemic circuit. Now let's take a look at the ventricles, the right ventricle and the left ventricle here. Compare. The right ventricle is thinner walled than the left ventricle and is the short, low pressure circulation. The left ventricle, as you see here, is three times thicker than the right ventricle and is able to generate a much higher pressure so that the force can overcome the, the much greater resistance from systemic circulation. The heart, right auricle, left auricle, right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, aorta, aortic arch, brachiocephalic trunk, left carotid artery, left subclavian artery, pulmonary trunk, pulmonary artery, and at the back, pulmonary arteries, pulmonary veins, right, left pulmonary veins, the inside, make sure that you are in yourself, this is the right, right atrium, tricuspid valve, cordic tendon knee, papillary muscle, interventricular septum, aortic valve, aorta, pulmonary valve, bicuspid or mitral valve, to remember mitral, L for left, tricuspid, tri, tri for right, right side, R, M, P, right coronary artery, marginal artery, posterior interventricular artery, left side, left coronary artery, anterior interventricular artery, circumflex artery, the veins, 
great cardiac name. Middle cardiac vein, small cardiac vein, coronary sinus, coronary sinus, opening to the superior vena cava, opening to the inferior vena cava, right coronary artery, left coronary artery. Superior vena cava, right ventricle, left ventricle, aorta, left atrium, right atrium, aortic valve, pulmonary artery, pulmonary veins. Left ventricle, left atrium, right ventricle, right atrium, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, aortic valve, pulmonary valve. Tricuspid valve, aorta, 